Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can set up an announcement bar in your Squarespace website. Now, at the time of recording this video, this is a premium feature only available in business and commerce plans. An announcement bar looks like this. It'll live at the top of your website and it can have text. It can also have an active link and it has a little X on the side so people can close it if they're not interested in your announcement. Now, I'm going to show you how to set this up in Squarespace step by super simple step. Let's go ahead and hop on into my demo site and get started. So here we are inside Squarespace and I am using version 7.1, the latest version, but this tutorial will work for any version of Squarespace. We're going to select marketing, our fourth option down. And then scrolling down here, directly underneath promotional pop-up, you'll see the option for announcement bar. I want you to click on that. Now, immediately you'll notice this is a premium feature only available for business and commerce plans. But if you have one of those plans, you'll be able to enable the announcement bar by clicking that option right there. Now it's going to display this text at the very top of my site. Now check this out. As soon as I highlight it over that text, I can make it bold, italicized, underlined, or even have one specific word inside that text take people to a link. You can also add anything you want because this text is customizable. And again, I can highlight over any word and make it bold, italicized, underlined, or even an active link for just that word. Now, another cool feature of the announcement bar is the click-through URL. You can add a link to make the entire announcement bar clickable. This is great if you're promoting a new blog post or maybe having a sale in your online store. You can enter the URL directly here, or you can click on this gear icon to open up the link editor. This will give you the option to link the announcement bar to an email if you want to have a trigger an email that's sent to you. You can also have it send to a web address anywhere on the internet. You can upload a file like a PDF. So when someone clicks on that announcement bar, they'll immediately be given the PDF. You can also have it linked to a page on your website, like the online store example or a blog post. And last but not least, you can also have a trigger a phone call. So you can link this to a phone number. I'll go ahead and select close and show you one last time. It's this gear icon right here that opens up our link editor. This is where you can select one of five options. So when someone clicks on that announcement bar, it'll either trigger an email, send them to a website, show them a file, take them to a page, or trigger a phone call from their mobile device, if that's what they're using to look at your website. I'll go ahead and select close, and we'll select save for our changes here. I'd like to show you one last time how we got here. From our main menu, I want you to click Marketing and then select Announcement Bar. This is where you turn it on. Now you might be wondering, how do I change the color of it? Maybe the color isn't exactly what you were hoping for. For that, we actually need to go to our Site Styles menu. I'm gonna go ahead and go back here to our main menu. I'll select Design and select Site Styles. Now on the right-hand side of my screen, I'll see the menu because I'm using version 7.1. This might look a little bit different if you're using an older version of Squarespace. But if you're in the latest version, click on colors and then scroll down to the main color theme for your site. For me, it's lightest one. And then I'm going to click on the announcement bar and that'll narrow down all of my options so I can see background and text. This is where I can change that color. If I click this circle icon right here, I can grab a color from my color palette or I can pick my own custom color using the custom color picker or entering an RGB, hex color code, HSL, Lots of different options for colors there. Same option for text. If you click the circle, you can grab one from your color palette, or you can select custom and pick your own from the color picker or entering your own color code. Super duper customizable. Again, that was under our color themes. Mine was assigned lightest one, so I clicked on that, and I'll go and select show all so I can show you this cool trick. If we click on the announcement bar while we're in this edit theme mode, it'll narrow down all of our options and just show us the option for the announcement bar. So click on that circle and select one from your palette or a custom color and make sure that you've got a good enough contrast between the text and the background so it's going to be visible. When you're all done, click out of there, click out of site styles, select close, and you'll be good to go. And there you have it, how to set up an announcement bar in your Squarespace website. Now I have some other tutorials on customizing this announcement bar with code and those are listed in the description below, so check out those related videos. If you're brand new to Squarespace, I want you to head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash start. There you can enroll in my course on getting started with Squarespace so I can teach you how to set up your site the right way the very first time. 
That's insidethesquare.co forward slash start. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Everything you need to know about Squarespace, all in one place, inside the square. I've taught thousands of Squarespacers how to create and customize their websites and I'm ready to teach you. At insidethesquare.co forward slash start, you'll learn everything you need to know to build your brand new website using Squarespace. If you're a fan of step-by-step -step tutorials and PDFs packed full of important information, you're going to love it. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash start to get started. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash start.